Hi there, my name is Chrissy Cogswell and I'm one of the librarians here at NEIU. For this video, I'm going to show you how to find peer-reviewed journal articles using the NEIU Libraries website. First, I'll show you how to search for a specific article when you know its title, and then I'll show you how to find new peer-reviewed journal articles about your topic using keywords. And if you're an, act an advanced searcher, or you prefer searching for articles directly in a database, I'll show you how to navigate to and search for articles inside of our databases. Okay, so I'm going to begin by going to the NEIU Libraries website. The address for the website is www.neiu.edu forward slash NEIU dash libraries. So I'll type that in and hit enter. I could also find a link to the NEIU Libraries website next to the D2L link on Newport, or I could just Google it by typing in NEIU Libraries, or the first link that comes up. Okay, so once the website loads, I want to point you to the search bar. This is the place where you'll begin your search. The library search bar can find everything that we have at the NEIU Libraries. You can use it to find everything from books, to videos, to peer-reviewed journal articles. For this video, I'm showing you how to search for peer-reviewed articles, so I recommend checking out our other videos if you'd like help searching for other types of items. For my first example, I'm going to pretend that I'm searching for an article I need for my class. I know the article's title since it was listed on my syllabus. The article I'm looking for is called Intersected Identities, Strategies of Visualization in 19th and 20th Century Mexican Culture. To find this article, I'm going to paste the title into the search bar or type it in. I could press search now and the system would find anything that has any of these words, but because I'm only looking for things that have this exact title, I'm going to go ahead and put some quotation marks around it. This tells the system that I only want to see results that match this exact phrase. Okay. Now that my search is ready to go, I'm going to click the search bar button here or press enter. All right, once your results load, you can begin scanning through what you're looking for. The first place I'm going to look is resource type. By looking here, you can quickly scan through what types of things you have on your results list. For this particular search, it looks like the system found us books, articles, and reviews, but I'm only interested in finding articles. I can add a filter for peer-reviewed journals under the availability filter here, and article under resource type here. Once I've applied the filters, I'll only have peer-reviewed journal articles in my results list here. Once I've double-checked against my syllabus that this is the correct article, I'm going to click on the title to open the full record. My options to view the article will be found under the View It Online section. To view this particular article, I would just click here on this link, and the system will bring me directly to this particular article in one of our databases. You may need to sign in to view the article. Just use your NetID and password. This is the same information that you use to log into Newport. If you have any additional questions about viewing and accessing journal articles, please watch my video on viewing and accessing journal articles. Okay, for my next example, I'm going to show you how to discover new peer-reviewed journal articles about your topic. To do this at the NEIU Libraries website, you can search by keywords. Keywords are important words and concepts related to your topic that you can use to find articles about what you're researching. Using keywords to search will always retrieve more results than exact phrases or full sentences. A quick way to come up with keywords is to choose the most important nouns from your subject. Imagine for your project you're researching gender roles in traditional Mexican households. For this example, you might try searching for the following keywords. Mexico and gender and culture. Adding that and between the keywords tells the system that I'm looking for something that has all three of these words in it so that I know that everything that I find is about my keywords in some way. Now that my search is ready to go, I'm just going to click the search button or press enter to run the search. Okay, 
Once your results load, you can begin by scanning through to find what you're looking for. The first thing I'll look at is the resource type. For this particular search, it looks like the system found us books and more books, lots of books. But for my example, I'm only interested in peer-reviewed journal articles since that's what I need for my class. I can add a filter over here on the right-hand side to make sure that I'm only seeing peer-reviewed journal articles in my results list. I would choose this peer-reviewed journal option here, as well as the article option here, and press Apply Filters. Once you've chosen to apply the filters, you will only see peer-reviewed journal articles in your search. From here, you can just scan through and see if any of the articles jump out at you. Once you've found an article that seems interesting, you can just click on its title to read the full record, including the abstract and the subject terms. A good recommendation is using these subject terms as additional keywords for your search if you are not sure where to go. Lots of good suggestions here. For information on how to get items, please check out our video on accessing and requesting articles. The last part of this video will cover advanced article searching in databases. Academic articles are published in academic journals that you have to pay for. A database is a website that allows you to search for academic articles published in one subject, and the NEIU library subscribes to many different databases. For example, PsycInfo is a database that has articles published in the field of psychology. Some databases cover a lot of different subjects. For example, the database Academic Search Ultimate has articles from many different subjects about many different topics. The search bar on the main library website, which is here, will search through all of our databases and show you all of the articles we have access to at NEIU. It is truly a one-stop search tool, and the majority of our users will be able to get what they need using only the search bar. Some, more advanced users, may prefer to search directly in the databases. For our next example, I'm going to show you how to find the databases that we have here at NEIU, and I'll go through an example to show you how to search directly inside of one. The link for our databases is on the main NEIU Libraries website. You can find it here beneath the main search bar at the button that says Databases and Articles. Clicking this link will bring you to a page that lists all of the databases that we have here at NEIU. It's displayed alphabetically, so you, if you know the name of the database you're looking for, you can go straight there. You also have the option to filter the list by subject, so things like business or education or history or type, things like article finding, maps, or streaming videos. From here, you'll just read through the database descriptions and choose one. The descriptions can be found here underneath the titles. You could also choose a database from the list of our most popular databases over here on the right-hand side. Once you've chosen a database, just click on its title. For this example, I'm going to choose Academic Search Ultimate. It's a really large interdisciplinary database, so it's easy to find things quickly, and it's my go-to. You may be prompted to log in, just use your NetID and password to log in. This is the same information that you use to log into Newport. Once you've logged in, you should be brought to the database website, which has a search bar here. This is where you'll enter your keywords and search for articles. To make it easier, I'm going to use the same keywords that we used uh, on the NEIU Libraries website. To begin, I'll type my keywords into the search bar. Mexico and gender, and culture. And then I'll click Enter or the Search button. You'll notice that this search gives me 568 results. But before I start reading through any of the titles, I want to make sure everything I'm seeing is peer-reviewed. Many databases have a filter that you can add to your search results so that you're only seeing peer-reviewed articles. In Academic Search Ultimate, the box is here scholarly peer-reviewed journals. Make sure it's checked off before you start finding articles for your project. You can also limit by publication date here. Generally speaking, research published in the last 10 or so years is considered pretty current. 
So I'm going to tell the system to only find things published between 2010 and 2020. You can apply any of these filters to your search if you find something else that you think would be helpful. For this search, right off the bat, I'm noticing that some of the titles are in languages other than English. I am an English speaker, so I want to make sure that I'm only finding results that I can read. Under the Language tab here, I'm going to click English, and now you'll see the system found me 283 results that are in English, peer-reviewed, and with my keywords. From here, you'll just scan through your results and see if the, any of the article titles jump out at you. Once you've found an article that you're interested in, just click on its full title to read the full record here with the abstract and additional keywords. Pro tip, you can use these keywords to do additional searches for your research, so if you're having trouble figuring out the next direction to go in, sometimes the keywords can help. From here, you just rinse, wash, and repeat. Different databases look different, and they may function differently, but once you're familiar with how one works, it should be pretty straightforward to figure out the other ones. I also strongly recommend searching YouTube for help using specific databases. There are video tutorials that walk you through using different database. For example, searching how to use Anthropology Plus database will help you find several helpful videos that will show you how to use that specific database. And for information on how to get items, please check out our video on accessing and requesting articles. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Please be sure to check out our other videos for more information, and don't forget, the library chat is open and live from 9 a.m. till 9 p.m., seven days a week for the fall 2020 semester. So if you need help, chat with us.